Example number four. Problem, if cosine beta is equal to negative 3 over 5 and pi is less than beta less than 3 pi over 2, determine the exact value of sine beta over 2. Uh, meron tayong isang given value and meron tayong given na condition. Ang given na value natin is 4 cosine beta which is negative 3 over 5 and condition natin yung beta daw ay mas malaki sa pi and yung beta natin is mas maliit sa 3 pi over 2. So kapag mga ganitong problem, first we should observe yung location ng ating angle na hinahanap and ang angle natin is yung beta over 2. Ang given condition natin is simply beta lang. And, if yung beta natin ay mas malaki sa pi and mas maliit sa 3 pi over 2, ibig sabihin yung ating beta over 2 ay mas malaki sa pi over 2 and mas maliit sa 3 pi over 4. Dinivide natin ito lahat sa 2. Kaya ito naging 3 pi over 4. Kasi 3 pi over 2 divided by 2 is simply 3 pi over 4. Ibig sabihin, kung yung beta over 2 natin ay mas malaki sa pi over 2 and mas maliit sa 3 pi over 4, this angle, beta over 2, lies in quadrant 2. Nasa quadrant 2 siya. And ano bang ibig sabihin pag nasa quadrant 2 yung ating beta over 2? Because beta over 2 lies in quadrant 2, yung sine beta over 2 natin ito, ang gagamitin natin na sine is positive. Kasi nga, sa formulas natin kanina, dahil naka-square root siyang ganun, nakalagay doon positive or negative. So, matidetermine natin kung positive or negative yung gagamitin natin na root. Depende sa location niya. And ang location niya dito is quadrant 2. That's why we will use the positive sign in sine beta over 2. And by half angle identity, masasolve natin ng value. Sine beta over 2 is equal to square root of 1 minus cosine beta over 2. And ang gagamitin natin is positive. Dahil nga nasa quadrant 2. Equals square root of 1 minus, alam na natin yung value ng cosine beta given po yan, ito. Negative 3 over 5. So, ilagay na natin, this is negative 3 over 5 over 2. Simplify the square root of 1, positive na ito, negative times negative, positive 3 over 5 over 2. Simplify again, dito natin ilagay. Square root of, uh, pagsamayan natin ito, again, a whole number and a fraction, we need a LCD. And ang kanilang LCD obviously is 5. Uh, 5 divided by 1, uh, 5 times 1 is 5. And 5 divided by 5 is 1 times 3, 3. All over 2. And we simplify again. This is 8 over 5, and mumultiply natin sa reciprocal nung denominator. To simplify, this is 1 over 2, and simplifying again, pwede natin i-cancel na ito as 1, and this is 4. Square root of 4 over 5. Hindi pa tayo tapos, another simplifying, uh, this is... Square root of 4 over square root of 5. Pinaghiwalay lang natin yung kanilang radical para mas maintindihan natin yung pag-simplify. And ito naman is, square root of 4 is 2 na lang. And square root of 5 siya na yan kasi hindi naman tayo gumagamit ng calculator. But, the rule, we need to rationalize it. Kailangan tanggalin natin yung radical sa denominator. So, this is square root of 5 over square root of 5, multiply natin ito to get rid of that radical sign sa denominator. Lagyan na natin dito. 2 square root of 5 over square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. And finally, sine beta over 2 natin is equal to 2 square root of 5 over 5. This is the value of sine beta over 2. Example number 5 is a continuation of example number 4 but this time ang hinahanap sa atin is yung cosine beta over 2. 
with a given value cosine beta negative 3 over 5 and again same condition pi less than beta less than 3 pi over 5. 2. Again, kailangan natin uh, alamin muna or observe muna kung saan ba yung location ng beta over 2 natin. And dahil ngayon, beta over 2 lies in quadrant 2. Ang gagamitin natin for cosine beta over 2 is negative sign. Yung beta over 2 ay nasa quadrant 2. So, negative sign ang gagamitin natin. Cosine beta over 2 is equal to, by half angle identity, ang formula natin dito is, negative ang gagamitin natin, square root of 1 plus cosine beta over 2. So, ayan, simplifying, negative square root of 1 plus, alam na natin yung value ng cosine beta, which is negative 3 over 5. All over 2. And we simplify. This is negative square root of 1 minus 3 over 5. Positive times negative. Negative over 2. And by simplifying, dito na natin nilagay. Negative ito. Uh, ang LCD nila is 5. 5 divided by 1 is 5 times 1. 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1 times 3. Negative 3 dahil ito, negative yun, over 2. And simplifying ulit natin yung numerator, mamultiply natin sa reciprocal ng denominator. This is negative 5 minus 3 is 2 over 5 times 1 over 2. Cancel, cancel. This is negative square root of 1 over 5. And ito ay equal din sa square root of 1 over square root of 5. Ang, and square root of 1 is simply 1 na lang din siya. Kaya lang, again, magiging radical yung denominator natin. So, we need to rationalize it. Negative 1 na lang ito over square root of 5. We multiply sa square root of 5 over square root of 5. Nagyan natin dito. Negative 1 times square root of 5 is square root of 5 na lang ilagay natin. Over square root of 5 times square root of 5 is simply 5 na lang. Therefore, cosine beta over 2 natin is equal to negative square root of 5 over 5. This is the answer for example number 5. For the last example, example number 6, if cosine beta is equal to negative 3 over 5 ulit, same given and same condition, but, ang hinahanap natin is tangent beta over 2 naman. So, of course, apply natin ng half angle identity of the tangent function. And again, dahil yung beta over 2 natin lies in quadrant 2, ibig sabihin, yung tangent beta over 2 natin is less than 0. And ang gagamitin natin is yung negative sign. Tangent beta over 2 natin less than 0. Kasi, nasa quadrant 2 siya. Ang gagamitin natin is the negative sign. Tangent beta over 2 is equal to negative. Ang gagamitin natin na formula is yung... Of course, may given kasi tayong cosine beta. So, ang gagamitin natin is yung lalagyan na lang natin ng cosine beta. Which is yung square root of 1 minus cosine beta over 1 plus cosine beta. Beta. And of course, negative kasi nga nasa quadrant 2 yung beta over 2 natin. Ilagay na natin yung values. 1 minus cosine beta na negative 3 over 5 over 1 plus negative 3 over 5. And we simplify negative uh, 5, of course, ang kanilang LCD. It is 5, 5 divided by 5, 1, times 3, 3. This is positive 3 na. Over 5 pa din. And this is 5 minus 3 naman. So, we simplify ulit. Dito na natin ilagay. Negative. Uh, 8 over 5. Ito. This is 8 over 5. 
And by simplifying, kukunin natin ulit yung reciprocal lang denominator. And this is 2 over 5. A reciprocal is 5 over 2. We cancel ito, ito, and ito is, we cancel 2, 1, and this is 4. So, negative square root of 4 na lang. And finally, malalaman na natin yung final value of tangent, beta over 2, na negative, ang square root of 4 natin is 2. So, therefore, tangent beta over 2 is equal to negative 2. Ayan. So, this is example number 6. But, pwede natin siyang i-check kasi meron pa tayong isang formula na pwedeng gamitin yung tinatawag natin as the quotient identity from the fundamental trigonometric identities. So, paano yun? Directly, uh, this is alternate solution. Tangent beta over 2 is equal to sine beta over 2 over cosine beta over 2. And this is from quotient identity. Alam na natin yung value ng sine beta over 2. Alam na rin naman natin yung value ng cosine beta over 2. So, substitute na lang natin. This is sine beta over 2 is equal to 2 square root of 5 over 2 over value ng cosine beta over 2 than negative square root of 5 over 5. And i-simplify na lang natin, dito na lang, 2 square root of 5 over 5 multiply sa denominator is reciprocal, 5 over square root of 5. Negative ito. Cancel ito. Cancel ito. Cancel. Cancel. This is 2 times negative sign. Therefore, tangent beta over 2 is equal to negative 2. Same answer. And that's all for half angle identities. Please like and share. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.